Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth, and today we're going to be playing Tic-Tac-Toe. Uh, that's a, well if you can call it a puzzle, but as easy and approachable of a puzzle as it's going to come for a Monday morning, where we are indeed going to be playing Tic-Tac-Toe, but in a Sudoku form. If you're feeling confused, don't worry, we're going to take a look at the puzzles and rule sets right away with Tic-Tac-Toe by Ebiji, and it's a fascinating twist on normal rules. So the rules are, normal Sudoku rules apply, you know what that means, place the digits 1 to 9 once each in every row, every column of course, and then every 3 by 3 box. Then, there is either a 4 cell purple X, or a 4 cell green circle in box 9. So this box that I have highlighted, either there's going to be some kind of an X in here, uh, somewhere, it doesn't have to be uh, in this specific area, and you can see then X wins, or is going to be an O of some sort. And again, it doesn't have to be in these four cells. And then in this case, O wins. And it's up to us to actually figure out which one is actually the winner today. So there is either a four cell purple X or a four cell green circle in box nine, the lower right box in the grid. And it's up to us to determine which player wins the tic-tac-toe game. Player one, purple, player two, green. There is only one solution. Right, purple, not going to be surprising for you, is Rembrandt's. All Rembrandt constraints in this puzzles are four cell X's. There must be a set of four consecutive non-repeating digits on a purple X, and those four digits may appear in any order. In other words, the X's are not split into two separate lines. Each X is treated as a single four cell Rembrandt line. So essentially, these four cells are all Remban, and there have to be four consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. So that could be two, three, four, five. That could be one, two, three, four. What I couldn't do at any point is skip a digit with one, two, three, five. And of course I couldn't repeat a digit there, obviously in the same box as well. Then we have the green whisper. So adjacent digits along a green four cell German whispers circle must differ by at least five. The German whisper circle is treated the same as if they were a four cell closed German whisper box. Uh, long way of saying if this cell is two, these two cells are five or more away, so seven, eight, or nine. This cell is a three. Well, these two cells couldn't be a seven anymore because they would have to be five or more away and the seven is simply too close. That's a totally valid set of pencil marks for this particular setup. We have Kropke dots, black dots are in a one to two ratio and white dots are consecutive and not all dots are given. If this cell is indeed a two, this would have to be one or four. If that happens to be a four, this would have to be three or five for it to be consecutive. So double, consecutive, all of which is fine. Now, what I couldn't complain about at any point is having um, a one in here where it's clearly consecutive with the two or an eight in here where it's clearly in a two to one ratio and the absence of a white dot or a black dot in here, none of that is a problem under today's rules. So it's fairly straightforward rules, which is about Rembans, crop keys and German whispers. And then a bit of a twist here where we're gonna play a bit of tic-tac-toe and figure out who's the winner in today's puzzle. As always, if you wanna play along, link in the description down below for you to do so. And uh, with that said, I'm gonna restart the clock and see how I get on. Now, I think there's a few obvious places to start. A one on a four cell Remba, the rest have to be two, three, four. That is not a two. Um, two is now gonna be in the top three cells. Two in here would require one or three of which neither is allowed, so that's not a two. Two in here, well, this is either two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four. This is clearly not one or two, so this is three, four, five. That's a three, four, five triple. So there's a definite five, meaning there is no one in here. So this is a two, three, four, five setup. Definite five here, definite two there. And then the three or four is a question mark. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Uh, we can of course think about the green German whisper lines. So this cell is one or three. Can't have a four in here because if it's a four, it would require a double nine but one or three. 
And equally, you can't have a 6 or a 5 in either of these. So have a think about 5s for a second, actually. You see, no 5s, no 5, no 5 because you can never have a 5 on a black croquet dot. Half of 5 is 2.5, double of 5 is 10. So no 5s in any of these. 5 is up here, 5 is there. Look at me doing Sudoku. Totally showing off. Right, these are from 789s. These are all high digits. Don't really want to color the grid, but if I'm not spotting these quickly, it may be a good idea. We'll see. Oh, speaking of fives, can't be on German whisper lines. The neighbor would be zero or 10. We've covered why they're not on black Kropke dots. That's a five. No fives in here, no five on the German whisper line. That's a five. No fives in any of these. Is, that, is any of that significant? Not really. Oh, hang on. Fives, not there. Five is on the Remban, which means both the one and the nine are not on the Remban because two, three, four, five is four digits. Five, six, seven, eight is four digits. You're not going to reach the extreme digits with a four cell Remban with a five on it. Here is another piece of logic, actually. Box eight, notice how two of these digits are low, two of these digits are high. So essentially, the black Kropke dots have to be a three, six, four, eight setup. And therefore, this is made up of one, two, and seven, nine. It's a ton of pencil marks, not really my style. I'm tempted to move on and just see what else I may be missing. I'm sure I'm missing something. Such as, well, no one, no one here, because that would require a two, which is not available. So we know that one is on the bottom. We know it's not here because of that two, it's not available. Right. So with one, two, three, four, five covered, this is essentially high digit. This is six, seven, eight, nine. This is six, seven, eight, nine. This is again, I mean, all of the rest are six, seven, eight, nine. So this is not hugely useful on my part. So have a think about what's going on here. I'm pretty sure it cannot be a low digit because it would require another low digit. And that would give me, well, actually we've got all four low digits. So that's not the case and it's not five. So this is a high digit, this is six or eight. Therefore, this is three or four. We covered around why the four can't be on these O German whispers because it would require a double nine. So that's definitely three, that's definitely six. There are no sixes in here. There is a six up there, which gives me four eight here, three six there. Uh, three requires an eight nine pair, and this is one or two, but it's not two, it's a one, it's a four. Lovely. So I need what else do I need? Actually, no fours in here, meaning this is a four, five pair, and this is a two, three pair. Four, five there gives me a three here, a two, four pair there. The one, which I totally ignored earlier, means that's a three. Yeah, that's correct. This is not five, that's a seven. These are not sevens. Neither of these. The eight, of course, the four eight pair, I kind of didn't follow. So that's six nine. And this is, well, this is not eight. That's one, that's eight. Lovely. This is seven or eight, depending on the six nine. What have I got going on here? Unclear. Well, this is not one. So this is a one five pair. This is seven, eight or nine. And this is it for the moment. Yeah, not sure where else to go. Okay. You know, I was very, feeling very proud of my Sudoku and then suddenly it's coming down to a bit of a crash. What am I missing?
I mean, I may as well do Sudoku in here. This is 237 on a four cell Remban. I mean, that's not three. Three, four, five, it's not gonna get seven. So yeah, no sevens. That's two, that's three, that's seven. These are gonna be one, four or one, four, five. There's a definite four in here, meaning that's a five. This is one, four pair. That's a four, that's a one. No ones in here. That's of course a four now. Kind of surprised it hasn't given me more here. Guess it doesn't matter. Am I missing anything? I'm not sure I am. One, two, three, four. Five is not here. Eight is not here. This is six or nine. Okay. Uh, we need to have a low digit here. And it's not one, three, or four. It's a two. And then we need to have another low digit there that is not two. And we know it's not four, it's one or three. Can't tell which one it is at the moment. Feel like I'm missing out a lot of Sudoku. Threes, yeah, that's fine. Actually, ones as well. No fours, no fours. Yeah, don't know. I'm kind of ignoring these white crop kilos and I probably shouldn't. It's not one, two, three, or four. Um, it can actually be five with a four in here. It could be six with a five in here. So five, four. Can't be seven. Could be, can't be eight because that can't be seven or nine and it can't be nine so this is five six or four five so there's a definite five between these two cells interesting but quite what i'm after eight in there for sure which we kind of knew anyway plus another five six eight nine yeah yep not too sure right where do we go from here it's a uh... Good question. Am I missing something like incredibly obvious? Because it was just flying along. And then suddenly it just came down to a crashing halt. So there's another seven, eight, another six, nine. This six, nine is not here. That's another six, nine. Six, nine pair means no nines there. Seven, eight gives me a nine in here. Gives me an eight there, gives me a nine there. That's not an eight, that is an eight. This is five, six, nine all of which is still available. Now there's a definite one in here, which means, oh, come on, Sleuth, wakey, wakey, German whispers. So one nine, two seven, no nines, that's a five, six pair. That is a nine. Five, six gives me a three, a six down here. And then two seven pair gives me a three a two up there and then it's either going to be two one or two one this way we'll probably figure out later which one it is right that's a bit better where do we go from here so it's probably worthwhile thinking around what is the high digit that is joining it because it's not eight or nine and we know it can't be a six that's two seven which means it cannot be a three because it's too close to the seven, that's a one. That is not a one, that is a three. That's a two, that's a seven. This is a high digit, that is not seven or nine, it can only be an eight, six is too close to the two. And that hasn't given me a resolution here. I do need a two, which can only be there, and this is four, five, or six, it is five or six, it's not a four, this is the only place for a four, that's five, that's six, that's six, lovely. That's not a four, so one, two, three, not four, not five. It can only be six because seven, eight, or nine already placed. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, six. And uh, this is four, five, nine. That's not a five. Don't know what the rest is. 
good enough for me. This is a, a bit of a struggle. Five, seven, one, five, eight, seven. Lovely. Right, let's keep going. What do I have in here? Looks like one, two, nine. Looks like three, five, seven. And looks like four, six, eight. No, where's my eight? My eight is here, not a nine. And I guess four, six, nine. Yeah. Right. Three and six and five. That is not three or five. That's just seven. And this is not a six. So interestingly, I don't think I can actually have an O anymore. This has to be an X. You see, whichever way I create the O, um, well, if that's a three, I'm actually fine. So ignore that. Well, if it's a three, it's too close to the seven. So that doesn't work. And if it's a five, it's a problem. In here, there's a definite five. In there, there's a definite five. And again, five's never allowed on a German whisper line. And then back to this trouble is either three or five, neither of which is going to work, either too close to the seven or it's a five. So essentially, there is an X in here and X is the winner. We know that now. Right. Uh, to create an X, we need four cell Remban that we have to find somehow in there. I'm going to leave it for now. I could do four, five, six, seven. I did say I'm going to leave it for now and then carry on thinking about it. Let's just move on. Right. What am I doing? Six gave me nine, gave me nine. I can type six, eight, six, seven pair. Well, that's the seven. That's the six. Six is not here. Six is on the rem band. So this is five, six, no seven. So that's three, four, five, six. No sixes, no threes. That's a four, five pair. That's a three, six pair. Not four or five. That's a nine. That's a four. That's a five. That's a two. That's a four. That's an eight, presumably. That is a nine. Uh, this is not eight or nine. That's four, eight, another one, two. The rest of this is one, two, seven with a definite seven. And it looks like we do need to figure out this. So the fact that this is four and seven really does lead me to think five, six to give me my four cell Remba. Let's just have a think around where it could be and eliminate it. But remember, you don't have to sort of draw it as an X. It's essentially a quadrant inside it, two by two in the three by three. So the options are these cells, which would be one, two, three, five. That's not going to work. These cells, well, there's a definite one, two, plus a seven. That's not going to work. In here, there's a definite, in fact, with the four gone. Three, five, six, nine are clearly not consecutive. So this is forced. This is what I suspected it was earlier. As follows. And hopefully that is going to be enough information to give me a solve. If I've not made any mistakes, six for the finish. It's a fantastic puzzle, Ibiji. Very, oh, excuse me. We are not going to finish without doing this. We've earned it. And X wins. Fantastic puzzle for a Monday morning. Highly approachable. Bit of a twist on a normal set of variants. Hope you guys enjoyed the puzzle in the video. And I'll see you back soon. Bye-bye for now.